Okay, we're going to get the pots in. See how many crabs and lobsters we've got. My guess is several. I think we'll have something. I think we'll have probably loads of crabs. I doubt there's any lobsters though. So how many we got out? Oh, All right. So when it was on high tide, that would have been well, it comes to the top of that big rock. Probably another six, seven foot. All oh, right, okay. Well, I've got the video going in case he falls in. You can see the four king diggers are just observing. Bonsoir. I don't know what we're these lobsters. Yeah. Neil, Cornmeister, Wales. Cornmeister, North Wales. North Wales. Oh, I must get it right. There's always one sucker amongst you, isn't there? <laughs> There's one in every village. <laughs> <laughs> this is ours. These <laughs> ones <laughs> to breathe under outside yeah. as well. Under outside? Like oh, a bull nugget. Ooh, outside, that's amazing, huh? Devil fish. Yeah, spiky. And Tesco. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> it's away. Right, we're going to have to get the bottom of the Here's the edible crab. That's the one when it gets bigger you can eat. Ooh, he's a nice looking fellow, he is, isn't he? When well, he, he'll grow to probably that. Oh, he's a brown crab. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. big. Just yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. It's actually sensed the tide going that way as well and wants to get into deeper water. Amazing, that's cool. More crabs. More crabs. Something funny just happened. <laughs> See, Neil over there, <laughs> Coinmeister, Wales. Oh, keep forgetting that bit. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not Japanese Welsh. Take two. Neil over there, Coin Master North Wales, opened this gate to get in, and just across there, which you didn't see, is an electric fence wire. And he touched the gate onto the wire while he was holding the gate. That was quite funny. He did say he regrets not putting it back and letting you do exactly the same. Oh, well. Yeah. Nice know your friends are. <laughs> This is permission, and just there is where the Lizzie sixpence was found a couple of days ago. Also today, I'm going to get the drone out again, and you know, get the seven of us digging on the field from the air. So that'll be quite a nice bit of video. So it's a nice, it's a nice thing. Do you the church? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a look at the church as well. 12th century, I said, isn't it? 12th century. 12th century. Give it a take. Yeah. This, I believe, has got JG on the back. Did you notice that? That's the oldest one. It must be the oldest one. Oh, it's a bit of tin after all that. Oh dear. Well, it looks like Craig has got something. He's filming it. Well, look what he's found. I told you he was crouching with something. There you go. Nice little musket ball. It's not little. That's a big musket ball. Well, could it be a bite mark? Have you sold them in the mouth? Oh, spit no, them down I... the barrel. You used to something... hold them in the mouth and spit them in the barrel? Yeah. Well. Gives it a bit of lubrication, you know. I'd not throw it out through like this. Somebody found there, somebody put something <laughs> in the comments. Right. About biting the bullet. Where's it? You know, that's ah. yeah. 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 Could be, that could be. In. I've never heard of that before. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You decide. Do you reckon there's any truth in that story? Let us know. Yeah, let us know. Well, that sounds nice. 69 on the BDI. Another light dig. Uh, a piece of chain. Ah. Oh well, it's something, I suppose. Little watch winder. Now I'm putting the camera up for this one because it sounded really nice. So I thought I'd do a live dig and show you just in case it's anything good. Ah. <laughs> That's all it was. 
two ringer lead bullet. Oh well. He strolled up with a silver strut <laughs> and then he declared he'd got a 50% silver. Look at that. The funny thing is, you recognize his strut, don't do. you? He's got a silver face. Look, that's the silver <laughs> face right there. And he has a silver strut. I can demonstrate. He knows like. you very well. Go on then. <laughs> I know he's got something. Just off the walk. I know he's got something. Very good, mate. First silver today. That's a good signal. I don't think it's anything terribly important, but I'll use this as an opportunity just to remind you how, with a dais coil, to pinpoint. You can either just draw back slowly, it gets fainter, until it just disappears, and you go slightly forward again, stop, and it's under the red XP there. It's another way, of course, and that's to put it onto pinpoint. And where it's loudest, it means it's in the center of the coil. So whichever way you prefer, really. So let's mark it and dig it. I certainly don't think it's going to be much, but you never know. It's been a long time anyway since I've reminded people how to pinpoint. I personally prefer just to drag back to the front of the coil rather than the pinpoint to the centre of the coil. Oh, the ground is hard. Now then. Let's see where it is. Still there. In the hole. Let's see if the probe can find it yet. Oh. There we go, on the edge. Still there. A bit further in that corner. Oh look, <laughs> a lump of lead, but at least it showed you how to pinpoint anyway. Who's got silver? Hey. Who's got silver? Somebody's got silver. I've got a little bit of silver. Yeah, you've got a pocket watch fob, haven't you? No, no. No, a fob, a back. I'm just telling my subscribers here that I've got naff all for the whole weekend. No fish, no lobsters. Nothing else dug up, but it's been a fantastic weekend. <laughs> what have you? Oh, wow. Have you got a hallmark on it? There is something inside there. I haven't studied it yet. Oh, look at this little, um, a shield or something on the outside there. And on the inside, oh, you've got a hallmark, yeah. Maker's mark, certainly. <sighs> Are you showing off now? Showing off now. <laughs> <laughs> That is a fabulous piece. The rest of it's here somewhere. Yeah, yeah the rest of it's here somewhere. He said, Coin Master, no, Coin Meister. Fuck me. Coin Meister North Wales. Yeah, no, let me just get my tongue around it. Change your name, will you? <laughs> it's easier. <laughs> yeah. nice Coin story. Meister North Wales has got that beautiful back of a what? Pocket watch. He's also got a buckle. I usually find lots of buckles, I found nothing today. And I wanted to show you this because this was found the night before I actually arrived on that permission we're on it a second ago. And that's the 
lovely Lizzie sixpence. 1576. Yeah, beautiful coin. It's pretty well nicked and rubbed. And just for those of you who don't really realise why the the heads of the Elizabeth coins are, Elizabeth I, are usually fairly smooth or rubbed, it's because she was reviled by most of her public, shall we say, and they always rubbed her face off like that. They just didn't like to have a picture of her on the, on the coins, so they tried to rub it off. And that sign is always great. You can always see the, the Tudor shield. So you know you've got something to do if you see that shield. What was that last silver you got, Fuba? Uh, cane wrap. A what? Cane wrap. Cane wrap? Like a feral end. Yeah. I tell you what though, he knows you very well. He said it instantly. Look, he's found some more silver. <laughs> you only have to look at you walking. There you go. You wouldn't recognise that as a cane wrap or a feral end of a stick, would you? But that's exactly what it is. Just look at that scalloped edge. What's that? That lovely. Here you are, mate. Cheers. I think I might assassinate you before I go. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be the first. Sorry. <laughs> hoo hoo, my first buckle. Modern. And the iron pin gave a really burpy, farty signal on my coil. Great signal but I know it can be deceptive because it's in the 90s. So it could be a lot of old iron. <laughs> oh no, it's a lump of lead. Hang on. Now what is that? That's lead. So that must have had a purpose, a function. It's been purposed that way, in that shape, with a hole in for a reason. And I cannot imagine why that would be. Tongue shaped with a hole in the end, and I can't imagine why That's weird. that would be fashioned in that way. It doesn't seem to be anything, unless it was a suspension loop on there or something. It's not a dress weight, no. no I don't know. They aren't the two holes on. Yeah, for holding slates. Uh, when the wooden pegs on the slates break. And uh, replace it with a piece of lead that comes down to the bottom of the slate and then you keel it up. Right, okay. And it holds the slate in place. And you just cut them into strips, usually about that long. R okay, that's quite long. Well, you right. see on the side where that slate slipped oh, is this? on the porch, about four or five courses up. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, you okay. See one what's on the angle. I've zoomed in, yeah. Well, to replace that, if you, if you didn't use a lead strip, you'd have to strip the roof off from there up. Right. So you just hook a piece of lead over, bring it down, press it over once your slate's in place, and it's fixed. Well, well, we're, well, Don't I can't think it. of anything else. <laughs> Is it dinner time or cake break? Cake break. Way! <laughs> oh, now we've had a cake break. He's obviously refreshed and ready to go again after the cake break and he's just shouted out hammered oh my god that's beautiful eddie grout edward the third uh not sure look at that yeah it's got oh you know something i was a touch that's it been mine if I yeah go i want to get that on video good that is lovely Double -sided. you are so lucky <laughs> it was my cake that did it it probably was does it sound fine? Oh, Eddie. That, that is beautiful. Road. Oh, it's slightly lift the corner. Yeah, and now, getting that rock. I bet that's made your weekend. Oh, yeah. Head to the third. That's it. Very nice. Well done. Just connect him on the edge. Yeah. Sam, you find a hammer on That is a superb coin. <laughs> There's no oh, clipping yeah. to it, or very little. Just a little, little bit around the edge. Hey, do you know what's amazing? You lot came this way. Yes. Wow. Yeah, I went around it. I know what I Superb. <laughs> right. I tell you what. Why don't you make it a cut half? Yeah, I could do. Yeah, and I'll have half of the cake. Where's my shovel? <laughs> Which half do you want? Left or right? The best one. Okay. All right. <laughs> well done, mate. Cheers. Let's get them on. Can you do them today? No, I can't. Have one. <laughs>
<laughs> Stuff, so you'll leave Three bits of silver for coal. I've got more stuff yeah. here. Including that good stuff, the really stuff. lovely hammered. I'm going to have to try better next time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the nice big hammer there, look. That raft man found. So that's two hammers this weekend. That's my poultry rubbish. You need a translator anyway. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> I've left all my cutlery out. I haven't. Best <laughs> oh, and he's got a bit of silver as well. That pocket watch back. That doesn't count. <laughs> that's tin foil. Well, that's it, folks. You've seen us all now for the weekend. One pollock between us, but several more finds in addition to that. Great weekend, fantastic company. If you're not yet subscribed to these guys, please check out their channels. I'll put the links in the description. Catch you later, and I've got to wamble all the way back to Yorkshire now. Catch you soon. Stephen is a man with a hat and a metal detector. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe.